Hello again, everyone. I'm Barbara Jones, Chief Curator, and I'm back to introduce you to the artist Willie Cole, who has two prints hanging in our post-1950s gallery. I hope you'll enjoy learning more about them. Willie Cole is an artist who takes ordinary domestic objects and transforms them for the viewer to reinterpret, challenging viewers' perceptions of reality. According to the artist, my interest or my habit is to work with objects that have had intimate contact with human beings. The things that you touch hold on to a part of you. My interest then is to extract and reveal the spirit in any object I use. Cole utilizes used and discarded objects to create his assemblages. High-heeled shoes become a face, flower, or chair. Plastic bottles are transformed into a chandelier or car. Ironing boards resemble the outline of a slave ship. He has been referred to as an urban archaeologist who explores and comments on our consumer culture through these materials. Cole's two prints in the exhibition show his use of the everyday iron. Over the past 30 years, his work with irons and ironing boards has summoned heat and steam to create imagery that draws on that of the slave trade and West African masks. The artist's relationship with the iron as motif began in 1988 when he found one lying in the street near his Newark, New Jersey studio that had been crushed by a passing car. He said he didn't find the iron, the iron found him. He told an interviewer in 1996, the magic occurred the moment I looked at it and noticed that it was looking at me too. I picked it up. It was no longer an iron but an African mask. I brought it into my studio, photographed it, and made a list of all the things it suggested to me. In Men of Iron, front and back views of two men are covered with the repeated pattern of the triangular base of an everyday object, the flat iron. The sole plate was inked and used to make the scorch patterns. On one figure, the iron shape becomes a suit of armor, protecting the body, while the other male is tattooed or branded with what can be interpreted as tribal markings. At once a beautiful composition of grays, it is not until further examination that you realize what the armor and marks were made with. Revealing his sense of humor, Cole identifies his subject as Silex Male Ritual or Sunbeam Male Ceremonial, indicating the brand name of the irons used. In the Ogun Sisters, Cole depicts two maids in uniform ironing with a 19th century electric flat iron. The image is duplicated left to right, causing the viewer to see double. Framing the women is the repeated pattern that the holes in a 20th century steam iron make on its sole plate, bringing the past and present together. The maids wear iron African masks over their faces, decorative ironwork hovers over them, and text overlaying the image references 26 protons and 30 neutrons, two of the three kinds of subatomic particles that comprise an atom. More importantly, 26 is the atomic number for Fe or iron on the periodic table, revealing the need to delve deeper to read Cole's compositions. Thank you for watching, and my special thanks to the University Museum at Indiana University of Pennsylvania for their loan of these two prints. Until next time, take care, and please stay safe out there.